All right, I am Delana C. Question, where did you start reading slash doing to start your spiritual journey? So I understand, I'm gonna give you a little bit of sauce, no ragu, but I'll pour some barbecue sauce, a little bit of ranch, honey mustard, Polynesian sauce. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll give you some in and outs, but a magician never reveals his secrets. Don't ever forget that quote. I understand, I didn't read a book or anything like that before I started my spiritual journey. Can you stop flying around me? You got the whole world to fly and you fly near me. My fault. Well, I understand. For one, how I started it was because of Honey Mustard 19 when it happened in 2020, when they dropped that Honey Mustard 19 update in this server that we call Earth. When they dropped it here, that was when everything was shut down. So when that happened, I had to leave college. And when I came back home, that was when I was stuck on lockdown. So I had to figure out what to do. And this is when the universe was revealing to me who I always was. On top of that, I was born this way. I don't claim myself to be spiritual. Spirituality is a title, it's a program, but I practice being spiritual. And that's the way of life because I know that I am just a spiritual being having a God experience and a human experience. But I don't even call myself a God nor a human. And for one, I use cheat codes. I'm not gonna reveal to you what cheat codes are, but the cheat codes are right in front of your face. And if you're oblivious to that, not saying you, Delano, but to the people who can't seem to think past their illusion, I use cheat codes and you do as well. There's nothing wrong with using a cheat code in life. You created this game so you can use cheat codes. And on top of that, thanks to my mom, my supreme being, she named me a name which is in the Bible. So the spawns of Satan prophesied my life before I was even born in this reality. So by them doing that, I was able to read my life and my past life. And once I did that, I tapped into the universe and I said, universe source, please give me clarity on who I really am. That was when I told myself in my room, I want to get closer to God because I was like, I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck this shit is, this simulation that I'm in, but I want to get closer to God. So that was when I studied God and I literally knew like that's a pagan title. So God don't even exist because I am the reflection of God. So who is God? Because even Satan calls himself God as well. Once I learned that, I told myself I had to stop being so kind hearted now. Not saying I had to stop, but I had to have a balance. I was always logical before I, I was... <laughs> I was always logical before I was always spiritual, right? So by me doing that, I was always a genius, but I was so asleep because I was attached to the materialistic world. And when I lost myself at 15, that was when I was in hell. So I was blind by who I always was. And when I woke up at 2020, that was when I knew like, oh shit. So the documentary, The Matrix, put me on to what this was as well. I went into a depression state. When this happened, that was when I learned like, damn, Everything I always knew is true. I've been living in a lie since I was born. Now it's time for me to find out the truth. Then I became addicted to knowledge. I became smarter. I became, I grew. I started using cheat codes to unlock the pathways in my brain. So I rewired my brain. I took a whole year to myself to be in my brain and pick my brain apart. So me and my brain used to hate each other, but now I love my brain because I think outside of a program, I manipulate the program that I've been programmed into. So now I see, every time I close my eyes, I see a ceiling that we're in, but I go above the ceiling. I go above the matrix. I go below the matrix. So once I did that, I was like, damn, this shit is real. Not to mention experiences. I've been through so many experiences. If I were to give you my eyes and place them within your head, you would be like, damn. You would give me my eyes back and be like, no, thank you. I see what you mean now, which is why I say the things I say and why I do the things I do with my eyes because this shit is not a game. Yeah, I may laugh, I may joke, I may hee hee ha ha, etc. But the things I see through my lens, people will kill themselves over. So I had to see this shit every single day. And when I signed my soul contract, I literally was told by the universe, you have accepted death. So you know what you need to do when you come down here. Every day I talk to God, that's why I'm always outside. I'm always getting the answers from nature because I love nature. I love myself. I love the universe. I love what the source provided. I love my mother. She helps me become the head honcho when it comes to my family. I literally have agents in my family. I literally have people who have sold themselves out in my family. So I've seen the industry. I know people within the industry. I have been put on game since I was a kid, a teenager, and now a young adult. Not to mention age don't even exist. So people think I'm younger or are 
older than what I really am. I'm not even the age that you think I am. For one, I am literally an old soul in a young body. I, I don't even exist, first of all. So all the people that are watching this video, if you know me in the past, you do not know me. You know my ego. You know my ego has placed upon you. I am literally a figment of your imagination. I am literally an illusion. Once I learned this, knowledge became my drug. Knowledge became my addiction. So every day I learn something new and I always knew this shit. And even if I don't learn anything, I'm not a teacher, I'm not a guide, I'm just a medium. So these things I tell y'all that comes from a universal aspect. This comes from all different dimensions from my ancestors, from my gods, from my goddesses. I literally have tapped into all my other realities and other dimensions. So when I go to bed at night, I sit there and I study what the universe brings to me. So when I wake up from this, from that past illusion, I wake up and I come right back to give y'all the answers that I got from the universe. And before I was even a spiritual being, I was always logical. So once I tapped into that logical aspect and spirituality aspect, I became a hybrid. That's why I tell you, even when I lie, I still tell the truth. That's why I don't want anybody coming near me because I've accepted death, but have you? Because what is death? And the thing is, if you're not on the frequency I am, I don't want you coming near me because you can get me killed and my frequency can get you killed as well. So if you're not tapped into the source, don't talk to me. Don't come near me because you'll aggravate me because I see your demons for what they are. And if you have not healed your demons, you will transmute that energy onto me and you will get me sick and my program sick. That's why I look the way I look. I don't want people coming near me if you haven't tapped into who God is. If you're still calling God, God. I know you're nowhere on the frequency high enough to even be enlightened to the source. No offense to people who call God, God. And in conclusion, my purpose when I was five years old, I told myself, I want to get people to heaven. Before I knew what heaven was, I finally found out what heaven is now that I'm awake. And I'm still going to live that purpose because my inner child is going to be fulfilled, which it already is. So I literally had the gift of foreseeing my future at a young age. And now that I'm in my age that I've seen at five years old, I'm thankful for everything and I'm tired of seeing people live a lie. So that's why I'm here to help. I'm here to give you messages that don't come from me. They come from a higher source. So if you call it God and so be it.